Yo, welcome back guys, and maybe you're wondering why there's a devil fruit and devil fruit UI You already know because you already read the title of this video, so Let's start, so we will making a random um, Devil fruit Random spin, so just put the devil fruit folder inside of that RUI and just add a local script and start making a our variable for developers which is the folder inside of the folder is the um, our developers the actual developers so now and let's make a variable for our elements of UI which is the text label and text button so here text um, I'll make the local show up equals script that parent wait for child text label so maybe if you know um I'll explain the mechanics here. So if we click the sh the button the show up UI will be pop up. So it will do the main purpose. So I'll explain it later. So button dot mouse button one down so it's function so let's make here a local function main so local function main here and put it here yeah and what it does when we click the button that function the main function will run so we will we want to the the show up button will pop up so by the way I'll make it a new variable for spin so the character not will not spin at the same time so make a if statement if spinning is equals equals true so it means it just if the spinning is false spinning will be true so we set the true to not um, don't spin again so if it if the spinning pulls it means we're able to spin if it's true we're not able to spin so for example here so wait one second so the spin will be pulsed again so after one second we want we will we can spin again so I hope you understand so I'll make so I show you I show you here so here if you click this so uh, you can see here it pop up so um, after one second it will disappear again it, the visible will pulse so while the show up is pop up we can't spin again so you know you get uh, what I mean so add a function here which is spawn function spawn function and for IB inverse so for IB inverse so we want to repeat um, 15, 15 times the function here so what we want to do is make a um, random make that random from 1 to how many how many double put that we have by doing um hashtag double put get children so now we get the the amount of the children of the double put of the of our um, folder so now we have we just want to I, I use one instead of print because I want to make it bold bolder and equal color orange more orange so I just test here so yeah it worked and now what we want to do is I'm um, here one the put name so that what we got so so from random it will give us a number so no, so we want to find that number so um, I'll explain later. I'll explain later. So we um, that's 
um, let's add wait here so now um, and set the show up text to the double put name so yeah so that we can see not just only an output so if you click here it should oops we got an error so let's fix this so it says here um it's not hard to it's not hard to pick so we can we just get that get children copy and just paste it here um let's wait yeah let's get this one copy this one and paste it here and here and it should work properly it should work so sorry guys this video takes so long because you know it's not so hard but it's just more advanced than my unusual usual video so now we got ito ito so let's more let's add more detail here so after that we already get the show up text so here's the if statement here's the if. by the way i'll explain the script later after the video so so you can just skip or just watch here so if i so more for for uh, this just this is not for loops it's if, if statement if i is equals to 15 or more than 15 we want to get the the um, the winner or the the one that we got so one you got double put name so for example in a 15 loop we got the ito ito nomi we will announce that so so let's just add more add more here I just just pop up on my mind add here that you got wait just a minute I'll skip so there you go so add more um, variable here winner equals script that parent wait for child winner so here you go and winner we, we want to pop up when we reach the last loop which is the 15 we want the winner will be visible because so you see later and wait three seconds then set up this again to pulse so we want the show up UI will be pulse and the spinning will be pulse too so that we can spin again and the winner will be the winner UI this will be false again invisible again so I'll show you I'll show you so here the test I, I love the new background so here if we click buy it should work as you can see here but we have something wrong because you know look we got something wrong here just the sign it's just a sign look um yeah it's just a sign here um wait there you go the sign i just you know it's greater than so it's less than so we need the greater than and equals so if i is greater than 15 or equals than 15, equals 15 that it will run the script inside of the if statement so there you go and on 15 we got Dalton Ushi and you know it's pop up and do this again and well we got here by the way it's random guys it's random so yeah it we got Ito Ito so after three seconds it will re it will disappear again so now time for giving the the reward so here adding 
um, remote function remote event I mean remote event inside of the replicate replicate storage and adding more variable here local rs for replicated storage short for replicated storage, equals game get service replicated storage and now we can get our um remote event so local double f for double fruit equals rs for replicated storage wait for your double f double fruit so now yeah, we can we can fire the server we can use fire server so everyone can see that what we got so and giving the name here so passing the name and copy this this line and add a script inside server script service and paste it here and double double f on server event connect function we have two variable here which is the player it already given and the devil put name devil put yeah so so maybe if you already know the remote event so you already know why they're a player so if player just checking by the way let's copy this one and put it to the server storage um, SS local SS for service storage equals um, game get service server storage and define the define the folder local devil fruits FS for double fruits equals SS wait for child double fruits so here now we have this double fruit folder and for IB so use for IB in first so we can get each of the double fruit that what we have on that what we have on on our folder yeah so for IB in first double fruit get children do in if so here's the thing if b dot name so is equal to the double fruit that we got on spinning we will clone it so local so yeah you we use clone local clone equals b colon clone and parent it to the backpack of the player that who spin that who spin so by doing clone that parent is equal to player backpack yeah so now it's work it should work 100% mm, work no more I promise <laughs> so hope you understand don't, don't worry I will don't worry I will um I'll explain the script later so here if we click buy and uh, wait for 30 15 yeah we got ito ito so now we have the ito ito nomi so uh, once again once again what we got what we got it's random it's random so hito nomi i don't know i don't know how, what one piece is one piece devil put um i'm not familiar on that but i already watched that that's just not a big ban so um we want i want to make it more more random so 30 and wait one zero point one second just one second so and increasing by the 30 so now we will it much better look looking so if you click this see as you can see here it's much faster and more so we got hito and we got the hito and more and there you go we got chop so yeah and that's what we want to want well, what we want to do and it should work now time for explaining the script so here on the first line we just we just get here we just make a variable for that folder 
and this tree is just for the element of the UI which is this that and here is for um, replicated storage and uh, remote function and here the variable for spin so and this button if we click this button so using mouse button one down it will run this function and inside of this function is checking if the spin is equals false is false so if it falls it will run so it will run here so we set the spin true and we the show up UI which is, is this will pop up so the visible true so now and the function it's not uh, just a function it's spawn function so inside of the spawn function is for loops so for loops will repeat this script this line of script it will repeat 30 times this number will repeat in 0.1 seconds so now what we have here is random what from 1 into the how many double put that we have inside of this folder so and this show up that text is equal to the double put name so it will change the text from the double put name in just 0 0.1 seconds so it will repeat 30 times and if now if if we reach the last which is the 30 it will run so we will visible this this text and just warn so I just I just warn what we can use print here and now <coughs> yeah so now and use far server and give the give the root name and wait three seconds and set the and set all to the polls again so winning winner equals the pulse so it will it will disappear the spinning is equals to pulse again so now we can spin again and show up is equals to pulse so now time for the so you see here we use fire server and put the name of the devil that we got so <coughs> go to the to the normal script we have replicated storage and double put and we have server storage here and the double fruits the folder which is the folder and use on server event so you already don't know that if you know what is remote event so we have so as you can see here we pass the name of the double put that we got that we the reward so double put so in so the value of this is the name of the double put and checking if the player is still here and we get we should get the double put and for i being for i being first just we we checking all the folder children so if one of them is equals to that double put that we got so by doing if b name that double put and clone it and set the variant of this from the player's backpack so that's just easy and hope you understand guys hope you understand it's not that hard maybe you can just watch this two times and you will got this you can make your own one piece game so it's not just it's not really good but you get the idea on how you make how you can make it so once again let's try this one and by the way guys thank you for watching and thank you for 300 subscriber um, I already appreciate that and subscribe if you're new so goodbye thank you for watching